I can sit and watch airplanes all day long. so early in the morning and the rain clouds are still out there they're still up in the sky welcome everybody to another daily vlog a vlog that happens sometimes still sitting here where i went to bed last night didn't get in trouble by security or nothing even though it was that wink wink notch nudge nudge whatever thing you know they i did have to wake up drive around the parking lot go back to the security area check back in and that was like four hours ago was it four hours ago something like that I don't know and I'm still and I just came right back and parked where I parked last night so God, I am right in the flight path of the Atlanta International Airport and it's kind of weird all the planes are like taking the same flight path but what's cool is from I, you guys probably didn't see it when you were looking at that plane but you know when you're watching the planes in the sky and they leave that trail behind the wings, it's even more pronounced, I guess is the word, as it's cutting through the rain clouds. Hey Kroger, slow it down. Well that took until forever. It's one o'clock in the it's one o'clock in the afternoon. I was supposed to be done at six o'clock in the morning. They took forever, so now... In a quarter mile, continue straight to stay on Anvil Block Road. I will, Google. I will. So now I have to go to a town called Rome. 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 Georgia. That's where I am, Georgia, I had to think. So i got to head up to Rome, Georgia, pick up a load, go on to Orlando. It's the same load, just I was almost lucky enough to where somebody else was actually going to grab it. Continue straight to stay on Anvil Block Road. Grab it for me. When you come to Georgia, at least Atlanta, when you get over here by Six Flags over Georgia, this is like one of the worst areas. I mean, you don't want to stay in any of these hotels, definitely. In Florida, in, or in Orlando specifically, our amusement park area is really clean and tidy and welcoming tourists. Couldn't tell really because everything's pretty much covered up by foliage down by the roots of the trees. Life just isn't so sweet around here. Nitty gritty, dirty south type thing that you can picture in your head. That's what it's like around here. Except for on the other side of these trees. These trees are something magical. Wowzers. I cannot believe this. I'm loaded. It only took five hours. I know I didn't show you guys any of that. Yes, I'm where I need to be loaded. It's time. Time to start heading to Orlando. It's about time. Five hours to get loaded. That's a long, long time. I was going to show you guys me getting loaded. But all it would have been is me sitting here in the truck because I didn't do nothing. They loaded me. But now it's time to go fight some Atlanta traffic because it is past 5 p.m. That's the way the cookie crumbles or the wheels roll or whatever. It could be worse. I guess it could be raining. Well, I'm... I had to stop real fast, I'm sorry guys. It's hot outside, and I really don't want lunch, but this, I, I don't know if this will do for lunch, but it is a double chocolate vanilla, one of those high dollar ice cream thing. At least the wrapping makes it look like it's a high dollar ice cream. I don't know exactly what it looks like, but it's gonna be something nice to eat and cool to grow. I mean, look, it's like the Willy Wonka that gold. It's gold. There's gold in that there wrapper. Yeah, so it's that. That is ice cream on a stick. All right, now I'm ready to rock. Orlando, here I come. Well, from the looks of it, it actually looks 
and from the looks of it, it actually looks like I'm going to be pulling an all-nighter. I'm 422 miles away, and it's 8 p.m. Should be a fairly relaxing drive from Georgia down to Orlando. Not too much turbulence, I think, tonight. So sit back and enjoy the ride. It just looks like a bright, beautiful, sunny day on the GPS. And when you look outside, it's 11.43 at night. How awesome would it be to have a GPS that actually went with the time and the weather and everything else. So like if it's, if it's raining, my screen starts to look like water's pouring down it. If it's nighttime, it, it, it looks like dark time. Or, no, I don't want to say the snow word. I mean, the S word. But a real-time GPS would be great. Come on, Google. Get to work. It is now 3.40 in the morning. 3.40 in the morning. And I've made it to Orlando. Well, almost Orlando. Universal Studios is like two exits up. And I'm going just past that. It has definitely been a long, 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 long night. I made it. Four o'clock in the morning. I made it. Wow. I know there's no content really today. And like I promised, there's going to be. I'm getting ready. Just getting ready. But this was kind of content because it was an extremely long day. I've been awake and driving since 5 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Yesterday, I got, I was, my company called me about midnight and said, just get there. Just, just get there. We'll worry about any infractions later. You, you need to get there. So I did. I made it. As you can imagine, make Martin Brower, McDonald's, whatever, it's a pretty big contract. It's a big contract for truckers to have and companies to have. Get down here, slow it. So even though the mess up up in Atlanta and stuff like that, it, it just took for hours and hours and hours to load and get out of there and then get stuck in that Atlanta, Georgia traffic, which I don't understand why they do not, they know all that stuff's going on up there, so why they make this appointment so early in the morning knowing it's impossible to make it here in the allotted time and then if I didn't make it here on time it's like a $200 you know late fee that we have to pay and, and everything but they're the ones that book the load so I, I don't know trucking is weird you, you do have a certain schedule even though I don't wear a watch I mean I have a watch and I really don't use my phone clocks I don't even know what day of the week it is I don't I don't know what today is so I, I but I do know we do have schedules even though I don't have track of my own schedule I just know that I have to do certain things at a certain time it makes it tough so what's supposed to happen right now is I actually had to drive two hours illegal to get here I'm supposed to take a 10 hour break but that won't give me any hours back. I'm gonna have to wait until midnight tonight, so I'm stuck here pretty much until midnight tonight, which is I don't know how many hours, because I don't have a watch uh, before I'm even allowed to move. Good thing is Universal Studios is right down the road, and I have friends that live around here who can come and pick me up, or I could just hop in an Uber and go have dinner and, or something, and then, and, and then head to Wildwood where I'm supposed to actually be in two more hours from now. Yep, that's right. I have another load waiting for me just up the road and that has to be in Alabama tonight at midnight when I'm allowed to leave here. It's like everybody went home on Friday, booked all this craziness, and I really can't get a hold of anybody to change anything. But I broke the law enough, and I don't want the law to win. So I'm going to take a break and... 
Just let the chips fall where they may. Anyway, I will talk to you guys on the next one. I love you all. And I can't wait until this coming week when all sorts of exciting things are about to happen. And I'll document them just for you. There'll be more than just the kind of junk that you see today. Peace out, everybody.